It is still years away, but eventually Jacksonville taxpayers could be tapped for nearly $400 million to build a new Duval County Jail. In the meantime, city leaders say millions are needed to fix what's wrong with the existing jail. News for Jack's reporter Jim Pickett sat in on a special city council meeting today and shows us what's needed to be done and what it'll cost. So the issue here with the jail and the police memorial building, well, is what to do right now. At the jail, we learned there's all kinds of problems happening here. Mold, structural problems, things that they need to address immediately. Same thing here for the police memorial building. This is the police station. They're having similar problems. So instead of just building something new and waiting for it to happen, today, city council is taking a look, what do we need to do right now? And what's it going to cost you? It's something most of us probably have never seen. The inside of the Duval County Pretrial Detention Center. The jail. We're told it's a mess and a safety concern. We asked people being released today, like one man who didn't want to be shown, what is it really like inside? There's a lot of mold on the walls and on the ceilings and the roof. And one of the um, holding cell I was in, it just leaked straight through. It's a hole in the roof, so when it's raining like today, it just leaks in. Leanna Hartman agrees. The hole downstairs flooded, so there's mold because of that that's coming up. It's just and bad. It's black mold, and the showers are horrible. The water pressure is terrible. Those issues and other concerns are the reason behind the city council committee looking into moving the jail and the sheriff's office. They were shown a list of problems ranging from non-working elevators for the high-rise structure, major plumbing backups, electrical, AC concerns, and mold. Similar problems for the police memorial building. It's estimated it could cost nearly $16 million to address issues in both facilities. $9 million just for the jail alone. Why should we spend that kind of money if we're just going to get rid of this? There are thousands of people in that building at any given moment in time, and it's not a very secure facility. It's not a very safe facility. We have responsibility to those people in there. Right now, the pressure is on to move the jail and the sheriff's department off the river and open it up for development. Council President Ron Salem believes we need to address the jail issues immediately because it's going to take years to build a new one. Not so with the sheriff's department, which could move to an existing building in Jacksonville, such as the Florida Blue Building in Riverside or another location. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.